It's a little hard to believe that it's only been 20 years since Nigeria first qualified for the FIFA World Cup. They came to the USA in 1994 as reigning African champions, and the squad realized the occasion was such that the financial wrangles which so often characterize their campaigns needed to be set to one side. The majority of the group huh, felt that playing for national team was our military service. It was kind of like, well, we can't go on a year's military service to defend the country, but it was kind of like a way of serving the nation. And I think in as much as we were the most a successful generation we were the least paid <laughs> as when it comes to financial you know benefits we were the least paid and um, today when we see each other we laugh about it but then um, it was just this hunger like we felt we had to make a name and they did in the most striking fashion Rashidi Yakini opened their account with a memorable goal against Bulgaria one of the lasting images of USA 94 Nigeria's force and flair took their European opponents by surprise these were players who felt that, OK, we had to defend for this so that the team could keep this offensive form. You know, myself personally I had to run to left and right for players like Okocha and all that. But it didn't bother me as long as he gave the right passes for us to win. You know, and he was one of the most talented players at the table. But we didn't always get along off the pitch because we had different characters. There were egos there, there were that. But the thing is that the moment we came to training, it was one family. The moment we got into the bus before a game, it was one family. The moment we had to eat, it was one family. But the moment the training was over, everybody was in his room. So you see, it was so complimentary and um, it just worked out. And we were blessed to have coaches that went with our culture. Nigeria top Group D ahead of Bulgaria, Argentina and Greece. A round of 16 clash against Italy awaited. The Super Eagles led the Azuri until the 88th minute, but Italy eventually overcame the pride of Africa in extra time. However, the world had taken note of an emerging force. I could see that our strength back then was this, it's something that is now common, but we didn't, people didn't have then, was the strength in transition. Our transition from defense to offense was exceptional. And that was thankful to some players who were able to give out some killer passes you know, from the midfield, like uh, Okocha or Finidi George or myself, for example. And the fact that we had a striker who was probably one of the best in the world at the time. And we're talking of Rashidi Yakini, may so rest in peace. Two years later, Nigeria won Olympic gold and so arrived in France in 1998 full of confidence. They had a promising start against the then perennial underachievers Spain in Nantes. The lead changed hands three times in a match that will forever be remembered for Sunday Olise's wonderful strike. I feel personally blessed by God. I'm, you know, I think it was, it was kind of like a benediction he gave me, like this is the way people won't forget you for a long time. When you find yourself in that situation and you corner kick or something, you have to strike it. You don't fiddle with the ball because otherwise the opponent's going to counter attack. So when the ball came to me, all I just thought then was like, the French say, faut cadre. You just had to look for it, it had to go in. You had to just, you don't know if you're going to score, but don't try to hit it too hard and miss target, but just try to like put it on target, whatever happens. And it even went better than I had wanted it to be with so much force and, um, and precision. But once again, it all came to an end in the round of 16, this time at the hands of Denmark. Olise went on to make 63 appearances for Nigeria, but perhaps more importantly, he had an honour-laden career in Europe. After all, that's where so many Africans develop from promising talents into major stars. People like myself, I was blessed to have played in Ajax, whereby the team plays very important. Plan schemes are very important. Plan movements and what you do when this happens, when that happens, you know, the team has to like kind of know it by heart, at least when I play there. So it's kind of like, um, those are things that make you who you are. Nigeria have never sparkled since as they did in the USA and France. Maybe one day they'll uncover a squad that's the equal of Sunday Olise's generation. <laughs>